Bornya Coop is situated on the northwest coast of Tasmania. It's a small, high conservation value coop, of which approximately 49 hectares is to be logged. Hopefully I think it will be useful that I got arrested um, and certainly the um, first line of the stories that have been in the newspapers and on the ABC have been um, about the arrest and then uh, people who've been moved on. Um, so I think it's helped with the publicity from that point of view. I was just generally chatting to the ladies um, um, and there was no, I just thought it was more or less like the previous Sunday. Went down there basically to see what was going on if anything had happened and I was really surprised when I saw the extent of what had happened. Basically they've got the logs over the creek and they can bring the bulldozers and equipment in now. So although they say it's going to be two weeks of road and access, I, I doubt it would be more than a week. Um, we got down to the creek um, and there was a big digger there um, and there was um, the forestry officer who was filming and he filmed continuous, continuously throughout the whole affair. Um, as soon as he saw us, um, he spoke to the contractors um, and they switched off their machinery and stopped working. At that stage they'd already put logs across the creek and basically squashed the creek at that point. Um, he also obviously then um, um, radioed the police um, and we just stood at the um, side of the creek away from the machinery. I was asked to move um, and I declined twice um, and at that point um, the policeman arrested me and read my rights. Um, the two of us were then escorted to the police car and um, asked to get into the back of the police car. Um, this was all done very politely and it was so nice I mean that was one of the joys of it when we were driven up to the um, entrance to the coop where the police were um, to see everyone there uh, waving and calling out and everything it was, gives you an awful lot of support you know? yeah you feel you're doing good um, and you feel there is a purpose in it for our kids and I'm at the stage of life where I've got grandkids and we need to, we need to look after them. Oh yeah, we chatted away. Oh yeah, very much so. And then he said, and why are you there? And I just said, it's a clear felon. It's, it's just a clear felon. I mean, I can take logging if it's, people are going to take trees out and use them. I can take that. I mean, providing it's not in a national park or something. But clear felon just, it hits a raw nerve. And, and to see what's coming, and I mean, I know what clear felling looks like anyway, but to have seen it before and to know what's coming in the next few days, it's just, just um, pushed me a bit, yeah. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't so much anger. It, I suppose it's frustration. Um, the, the frustration is the, seeing the creek being squashed with the big logs and knowing that what's gonna happen is, is bulldozer forestry. Um, I know they're going to take some trees out um, as saw logs and I know they're going to take some out as peelers but I also know most of it is going to be bulldozed and chipped and that's the way it's going to be dealt with and having seen it the week before um, the way it's meant to be and having seen it yesterday I just was cross and I said that's it and I think I had in my head that I, if I was going to do something, I wasn't just going to get um, a, a statutory fine. If I was going to do something, I may as well get arrested and charged. Um, that's what I, I felt, for good or bad. But I think you do get an opportunity to speak. Um, and obviously the, the reporters are there. Um, and providing that you're not aggressive and keep it simple and very straightforward. Um, and my focus would be the, the destruction of clear felling. 
I don't have a problem with forestry, but I do have a problem with clear felling. But that was all, all I would say. Um, and I think that it's easy to get downhearted um, when you see these things happen. But I think you've got to sort of think back to, to Lake Pedder and how, although that was a tragedy, it was the end of the affair, um, basically. And I think the end of the affair is the ceasing of clear felling. Um, so I hope that whatever happens, this is a nail in the coffin of clear felling in Tasmania. And it may not be the last coop, but I hope that it's one of the last coops where this practice occurs. So I think that's the hope. To, to those of you that are, are, are coming to Laponia and continuing the process, keep, keep at it. Um, there is a purpose. Um, don't despair. And the purpose is to end clear felling in Tasmania. And that's the, the big purpose. Obviously, the longer we can delay what happens to Laponia, the better. But it is a piece of a bigger jigsaw.